Eruption of the East Epi volcano has shocked the world practically. We have a memory of the such eruptions in that area of the world, in the Pacific region. Uh, this volcano particularly is interesting because it's at the junction of the Indo-Australian plate and the Pacific plate. Undersea volcanoes are common in that area because there is a subduction of the um, Indo-Australian Indo plate under the Pacific plate, creating volcanoes. There is no land mass much there. It erupts from the bottom of the ocean, then reaches the surface. You, this is what you will see when it starts. And then it develops to an island, as in the case of the Hongo Tonga. As you can see here, this is the one of these uh, land masses created there. This is the actual footage from the uh, East Epi volcano yesterday. It's quite dark, dangerous. It shows all the signs of a ash eruption into the sky that can block the uh, you know the view for a long time. Uh, the dark color here shows ash, the presence of the ash is a shattered material, shattered lava, which came in contact with the water as just became immediately frozen. It practically didn't crystallize, it's amorph, it's a glass. Uh, the white color you see is due to the steam, which is in the, of course, this setting is in the ocean, so there is plenty of water. Hongo Tonga was one of the most... Uh, uh, dangerous cases of such eruption. We have even picked the ultrasound uh, tremors of this East Epi volcano in Australia. And now we have the news that the 10 kilometer zone exclusion zone has been announced around the East Epi volcanic area. So no boat, no fishing can be done in that zone. Even the Epi Island probably is not safe at the moment. We, we don't know the development. We have to wait yet to see what will happen. It's safe actually not to be there. It, it may evolve dangerously.